everybody's Pep on the Woods. We're in the Big South Fork today at the Cumberland Valley Trailhead. We're gonna go out East All East Laurel overlooking on down to the ONW Railroad bed, go up uh, North White Oak Creek and look around and see what we can find. Some old remains of the town of Gurnt and a couple more things. But anyway, got Kerry Woolbright, Jimmy Staffy, Kenny Crossman, and Gage Sexton with me today. Man, it should be a good day, beautiful. It's about 75 degrees this morning already on high up into the low 80s. It'll, it'll be awesome. Beautiful spring. Come along with us. So what we find should be good. Thanks. Look at this. Today, Kenny Crossman is a hero. We drove out here the East Laurel Overlook, two tenths of a mile, piled up in his truck. So that would have saved us uh, 4.8 miles hiking if we had to hike from the trailhead back there, the coming Valley Trailhead. So Kenny's a hero today. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check the Overlook out, and then we're going down there to O&W and North White Oak Creek. So let's go to the Overlook. The road out here that Kenny brought us out, it's, it's really nice. Uh, if you ever drive out here, you gotta watch out for horses because it's a multiple use trail. But if you can drive right out here, two tenths of a mile of this overlook, you, you should try to do it. Uh, you just need a car that sits a little bit high. You don't need a four wheel drive. But man, this is easy to do and you need to see this. You can tell we're coming up on the overlook. Kenny's truck, so I'm gonna cut this corner off, get down the trail to the O&W, Gurnt, and on that stream. Down in here last year, and I remember there were a lot of wildflowers, so should be nice. pipe or whatever whatever that is table it's kind of odd to be this far out and big fire ring and this would be one of the nicest camping spots on North Wide Oak for sure the creek is beautiful here Laurel Fork. 
in North White Oak and some brick. And we'll go ahead and get a picture of that. Coming out of that rock right there, there is a steel pipe. Now I'm up on top of the rock that that steel pipe comes out of. And why, I don't know. Uh, maybe anchor something too, I don't know. But ground's kind of up to in places. They definitely done something up in here. And a little rusty metal right down there. Let's go check it out. Rusty metal. There's a corner. So here was a Look kind of a brick building at one time. Another middle pipe in the ground. Something big it was anchored. little pond. Drag full of tadpoles. Thousands and thousands of tadpoles. Okay, we'll head up the hill from the pond because there's a concrete foundation up there, Kenny spotted, so we'll go check it out. Yeah, this is pretty good. Concrete foundation for something. Who knows what it was? A little pond full of tadpoles. Bro. We're gonna head on up. Wall. Uh, look for some more stuff. And if anybody knows what all this is or was at one time, it's right above the mouth of Laurel Creek and North White Oak Creek. All right, going on. This little wall for is such a gorgeous stream. We've been passing by a beautiful spot. That's a beautiful spot like this. I gotta show a little of it. But man, I'd be down here against it all day long if I showed y'all of it, but we gotta head on up the trail. balanced here and you set way through it through a big crack and just it's just sitting here I don't know anyway wall of fork and we're hidden still up the, up the trail I had no idea this wall of fork was this big or this this pretty big. And there's something swimming over on the other side of it. I don't know what that is. We'll lose on up here and see. Duck was right over there, and by the time I started hit record, it flew straight up the creek and low. Maybe we'll encounter it again. But you know about a pretty place. Real sandy bottom. 
shallow right there, pretty far deep in the middle. It's about a good place for kids or anybody swimming. Plus, a couple high hey, little balls for people to sit around. I, I tell you, been a few fishermen campers here at times, but it sure is beautiful. I didn't say it earlier in my video because I didn't know if we'd find it, but this could be what we came looking for. Let's get down here and check it out. I had been told about this about a month ago by a gentleman. Uh, I'd never even heard of it before. But that's a piece of an old locomotive and it looks to be steam engine because that had to be uh, where the fire was at, the firebox, so get a few more shots of this. Looks like to me, some of the parts off this thing were cut off and scattered. Uh, I mean, it's not the whole train, no chassis or wheels. This is the boiler section in the firebox, but still, uh, it was no steam locomotive. Pretty cool to find this thing down in here. There are no markings on the steel uh, we can find. You'd think some company made it would have their their name in the steel i don't know but we can't find anything but anyway there it is why and how it got here would be the next story but i'm sure interesting one but we may never know It may not look like much now, but at one time, there's a fire in that end and the water coming through the boiler and this thing powered a engine up and down the railroad line that is not here anymore either. With the relic of the past and the O&W Railroad. Tickled to death to find this. We've uh, started back from the old locomotive firebox and boiler and stuff. And, uh, and that's one of the main reasons we came up here today. I didn't mention this start a video because if we didn't find it, I didn't want to seem like a big failure, but it's been a good day anyway. So we see anything interesting along the way, I'll, I'll show it. Man, this beautiful laurel branch, laurel fork, it is something interesting every foot of the way, but it's known back. way back down where Royal Fork meets North White Oak where the little town of Gurnt was and we found some more I don't know what it is but it's definitely rocks stacked by humans uh, we didn't see these on the way in pretty good wall right here we're going to poke around there just a second, and kind of a big steel, steel spike hammered in the ground right there. Don't know why. Yeah, right there's some more stack stones. Right here behind us are some stack stones and brick. 
and a great big spike in the ground. And this brick has a marking on it. CM Company? Okay. I don't know. From Robbins. Well. That's awesome. And we're, we're kind of lagging behind our buddy, so we're going to head back. But they actually have a set of stairs leading up in here. That's pretty wild. I had no idea what it was, but meant something to him. We'll head on. <laughs> Carrie's on the road. Jimmy's firing it up. Gage with me. Kenny's in his truck. We're getting ready to head on out. Okay, we're we're done. Everybody's headed out. Except for me and Gage. He's riding back to Old Hyder with me. Uh, golly, it was a beautiful day today. Temperature great. Not Didn't sweat too bad. Uh, finding the remnants of that old steam locomotive along... Uh, Law Fork was awesome. North White Oak is such a beautiful stream. Uh, you know, finding the remnants of uh, some old buildings at Gurnt. Uh, just awesome. And, you know, we're going to have to dream this up again someday and find somewhere else to go. Uh, and if you like this, you know, there'll be more. Uh, please like and like my videos. Subscribe to my channel if you want, because there'll be plenty more. So thanks for watching. It's Peppa in the Woods. See ya.